Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and I'm going to give you a quick live demo of the brand new newborn preset workflow collection for Lightroom by Lemon Sky. If you would like a more in-depth uh, demonstration of these Lightroom presets then please click on the video which has the image of this little bunny on it here where I really go cover everything in depth, that's a longer video, but for now I'm just going to go through very quickly. So the uh, the only thing the presets really don't cover is your white balance. Um, white balance is you, as unique as your fingerprint, so at the moment as you can see my white balance is slightly off, it's a shot. You can, if you used a grey card, you can use the target picker to select the grey card. Um, if not, you will have to tweak it by hand or find a neutral area until you are happy with the white balance and you can always go back uh, a little bit later on and tweak the white balance a little bit more if you want to. So let's get started. First I'm going to choose the base uh, that I'd like to start with, with this image here, by hovering over until I find a base that I think fits this image nicely. You'll have to excuse how slow my Lightroom is. Um, it's horrifically slow when I have my video recording software open. Um, I quite like a beautiful little tweak, so let's go with that one. Lighting, you can change your lighting here. If you click on a preset and it changes too much and you really don't like it, you can either use the reset option or you can hit Control or Command Z to undo um, what you've just done. I don't mind this image being slightly darker because I want to brighten baby's face up. Um, the brightness for baby is competing with these areas here, so I don't mind them being slightly up, slightly under. Okay, so now I'm going to get started with the brushes, and I may come back and tweak the preset more. I can simply click on any of the options and carry on tweaking until I'm happy. What I'm going to do very quickly is I may use the jaundice reduce and just to take some yellows out, but as the yellows are already pretty light in this image, maybe I don't need to. Mm, no, I'm not going to. It's a good thing about these presets is you can just um and ah and think, what am I going to do? It's all pretty relaxing really. I'm going to use reduce the reds on this baby just to take any of these red areas down that are um, battling for attention here, the usual kind of red areas, feet, red blotches, anywhere like that. As you can see I'm being um, quite fast with these, I'm not being too fussed about where I'm painting them, I can always hold down alt and go back and take the reds off um, or add reds back in should I say if needed. So for example if I ran the reduce the reds over the lips too much I could simply go back hold down alt and paint it off again. This baby has a stalk mark here which um, I'm going to leave in but just reduce a little bit using this reduce the reds brush here and also goes across the eye. I'm also going to soften that area down so it will blend in just a little bit. You can also use the Lightroom spot remover um, brush up here to remove any specific spots. <laughs> My Lightroom does that when it's big, so to move any specific spots or flakes um, by hand that you would like to get rid of. I'm going to use the Peachy Skin Toner to add a little bit more peachiness into the skin. So add a very light, um, peachy, creamy tone to baby's skin. I'm using it especially on the red areas or anywhere that I would really kind of like to um, neutralise. I'm now going to go for baby's details on baby's face. As you can see these little flakes and things can be removed using the spot healing brush again which is up here. How much or how little you decide to uh, remove flakes, um, milk spots, skin, anything like that is entirely up to you. What I'm doing now is I'm holding down Alt just to lightly rub that off just a little bit. 
and I'm going to go back on to reduce the reds and have one more red brush just to tackle those um, these areas here that I would like to tone down. <laughs> I'm just waiting for my, my Lightroom to catch up. As you can see, it's being rather slow. I paint the brush on, and then it takes a few seconds to actually show it. It isn't normally this slow, it's because the video recording software that I use is um, it's, it's quite a large uh, program, and it slows my Lightroom down. So the areas here that have come up too light because they weren't very red in the first place, I'm simply going to hold down the eraser brush and I'm just going to lightly um, erase these away just to blend in what I've done with reducing those reds now. I'm trying to move this video rather quickly, so obviously I would spend more time um, fixing this area than I'm showing you now, but I hopefully I'm just giving you a good demonstration here so you can see the potential of these presets when you get them working for you. They're very easy to download. Um, you buy them on the website, they're an instant download, and they come with instructions of how to add them into Lightroom, which is just about going into the, um, the Lightroom presets file and dragging them in, and then they're there. And then they appear in your Lightroom develop presets folder. and you can simply start using them. Um, the same goes for the um, the brushes, you drag those into the adjustment presets folder and again you can simply start using them from there. So I'm just tidying up the edges of reduce the reds while I'm talking to you. Okay, and now I'm going to soften the skin down. I may go back to reduce the reds and work on that area more, um, which I can do. Soften more adds um, a very soft skin tone if that's what you wanted. If not, you can just use the skin brush, which adds a, um, a creamy soft skin tone, uh, which is great if baby's skin is already pretty soft anyway, or if you don't like going in for a heavier edit. And again, these little round spots, little flakes, anything that you um, don't wish to keep in your image, you can just use this brush here. If I hover over, you should see it comes up with the spot removal tool. Or you can hold down Q um, as a shortcut, and that will change your brush to the spot removal, and you can simply click through and remove spots. In fact, I will show you how in just a moment with this little line here that is still left behind. You can use it for anything, any kind of cloning or healing or anything like that. So I have gone to zoom in. My Lightroom is just being slow, very slow. Let me change to this 100% zoom. And let's give it a quick go with the healing brush on 100% opacity. And I'm going to lift the feathering up slightly. So I just want to heal that line there. Um, and replace it with somewhere probably just up here. When Lightroom catches up, <laughs> it will show you. So that should now heal this stripe here. When Lightroom decides again to play ball, okay, and then you hit enter. You can do the same for flakes or anywhere else. For flakes, I tend to have the feathering down a little bit just so I have a more precise brush um, to click on. <laughs> I'm so sorry about my slow Lightroom, honestly. I'm going to have to go and get a better video recording software, one that doesn't take like a hundred years just to click a clone stamp. <laughs> Look at that blue wheel. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry if that frustrates you. It frustrates me. Okay, let's do one more and hope it doesn't crash my entire system. 
this is just uh, this is Lightroom. This is nothing to do with the presets, by the way. Um, just in case you're worried, this is my Lightroom on the actual Lightroom setting of a spot healing brush um, that, for some reason, it just cannot handle today while I'm recording. Okay, so that was a very basic edit. Um, it would have been a lot quicker had my system run a little bit quicker, so I do apologise. But let's go to the before, if it wants to show you the before. So that was our image before. And this is our image after on a very quick Lightroom edit using the LSP Newborn Lightroom presets and a little bit of spot healing. Before and after. As you can see, that's a rather massive difference. You get all of these presets included and you can tweak each section individually and you can go in and tweak them more if you want to or add finishing touches like I'm just about to add here um, where I'm blurring in those edges a little bit um, or you can just use control or command Z and undo the preset.